we, we have the all new steering wheel here. Flat bottom here with the AMG engraved. As you can see, it's so responsive and so easy to use. Hello guys and welcome back here again on Mr. Ben's YouTube channel. Today featuring this, the all new E53 Coupe again. And why? Because I already told you I'm going to do an in-depth review, a full detailed video about the steering wheel inside this because we have a new one here. So let's just move inside this E53 and let me show you the all new and updated steering wheel. So here, as you can already see, we have the beautiful upgraded facelift steering wheels. This came with the all new E-Class facelift models and now finally also available for the e E-Cabriolet, uh, E-Class Estate and E-Class sedan models. And I think we will be seeing this steering wheel in the latest Mercedes cars as well. For example, the new C-Class. Um, 2021 model or maybe the new S-Class so let me just jump inside and show you this beautiful steering wheel so as you can already see we have the flat bottom AMG steering wheel here there are three types um, one is this AMG flat bottom steering wheel then we have the super sport steering wheel which will be available for the AMG line interior package and last but not least, the exclusive package, which will come with the interior exclusive package. So let me show you more about this steering wheel. First, we have a full leather trim here. I am really curious how this one will look with the full carbon fiber up and down here or with the Alcantara will look definitely nice. So waiting for that, I think they're going to show it with the new uh, E63 models, definitely. So. Here we have the perforated leather with the Nappa leather over here. Uh, also black stitching on the steering wheel. Then as you can already see, um, flat bottom here with the AMG engraved here. And the steering wheel frame finished in stock color. I think uh, in the future we will also see these fully blacked out for our edition cars, for example, as we had with the AMG 4-door. Uh, would look very nice uh, in the future. So let's see what's coming there. Then we have the updated uh, steering wheel buttons here on the left and on the right side. These are not the same as we had uh, with the old steering wheel. These are updated ones. As you can already see, this shape is now the same. Uh, this one you can like turn and this one is just for pressing, but more of that also soon. Then we have the all new and updated airbag cover here which many of you didn't like but to be honest in person in full flesh this steering wheel looks so nice the proportions are just beautiful and it just looks way sportier than i thought when i saw the pictures i wasn't really impressed also but now sitting inside the e53 coupe seeing this makes me really happy because it's it's beautiful like you just need to see this in real and then make your own mind but this really suits and fits the new steering wheel. You just need time for that. Um, also, this reminds me of the Maybach Vision 6 steering wheel, which also had a central, bigger airbag cover uh, as well on the steering wheel. We'll also show you that here, so you can see. And then we have these. These are completely new, as you can see. We have like touch pads here, sensors here. Um, which you can easily use by swiping left and right, up and down, etc. Also, we have the push buttons here as well. All finished in piano. Uh, I'm not convinced of piano, as you already know. I, I'm not a fan of piano, but still it looks good. Uh, you can also set here with the cruise control, with the home settings for that uh, display over here and the settings for that display over here. So let's just turn on the, the car and let me show you. So let's just turn on the car and let me show you 
more about this as i already mentioned in my review this car finally the all new e-class comes with the updated infotainment mbox system as you can already see you can use the touchpad here the touch display uh, and the touchpad over here as well but we will be focusing on the steering wheel today as i already told you you can change the driving modes here from individual comfort sport sport plus and first time we have an e53 race mode which i really like is the new design of these also updated really looks so nice beautiful we really love that so race mode for the first time and when you tap here it will instantly redirect you to individual really like that then on the left side it's like the same shape finally because when we had the steering wheel buttons first the proportions didn't fit because this the right one was rounded and the left one was wasn't rounded wasn't was different at all so i'm going to show you a picture of that also you can see and compare as you can already see you can change the suspension like everything you can uh, control on the displays or here on the buttons as well but as, uh, it is much easier to use these so you have everything instantly on your steering wheel like you can you don't need to use any of these buttons anymore just imagine um, here you can change the suspension sport sport plus comfort but if you don't want suspension then you can just change it as you can see mg dynamics etc and here as well here you can change the AMG dynamics from basic to advanced and to pro which is really nice when you drive this car uh, on the racetrack for example so let's just go ahead and switch that to race which looks absolutely mad just look at this we have the animation here beautiful as i already told you uh, with this side you can use the mbox infotainment system here the touch display uh, so you, you don't need to be driving and uh, tapping on your display here. You can easily use it by swiping here. As you can already see, I'm controlling it. It's so easy and so clean and responsive. As you can tap here, for example, to home or just to go back, etc. Then we can turn the volume on just by swiping and lower it favorites start the hey mercedes mbx what can i do for you nothing <laughs> there we go also with telephone controls etc if you're talking or you need to call someone so let's lower the volume of that song which i really like you can also control this display here with these buttons as you can go here with the home performance trip radio media i'm just swiping here to left and right as you can see it's so responsive it's so easy to use very nice then you can uh, set the cruise control over here limit etc setting it up or down uh, reset or cancel it really nice so a very important point of the steering wheels are the shift pedals which has already changed here with the facelift e-class models uh, all new shift pedals here um, which are c shape i want to show you from behind you can easily spot it um, to be honest they feel really good and really sporty shape definitely the c shaped here up and down over here really like that i can't wait to drive these and uh, show you my first driving impressions hopefully uh, we'll do that soon after all that corona shit uh, so that's it basically from the interior and from the steering wheel. I hope you all enjoyed. As a resume, I can say a huge improvement. I really love these steering wheel buttons. Finally, same shaped. Then really easy to use these sensors with, with just swiping. And the shift pedals are just beautiful. As you can see, C-shaped there, flat bottom. I don't like this. It's like really small, this frame. Um, but it fits the proportion the overall look so what do you think about this steering wheel please comment down below i hope you all enjoyed watching and already looking forward to see you again goodbye